Hi, this is Sackshane112, and welcome to another episode of... Dan the Computer Man. Hello, welcome to Dan the Computer Man. In today's episode, episode 27, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play classic Nintendo 64 games on your computer for free. The things that you're going to need are a Nintendo 64 emulator. I highly recommend Project 64 version 1.6. I think it's one of the best Nintendo 64 emulators out there. And you'll also need a Nintendo 64 ROM file. These can either be in a zip folder, or it can, it can just be the ROM file itself. And now, what you need to do is go to Google and search emulator. And then go to the result that says, the emulator zone, your source for emulation. Then go over here to the left and click Nintendo 64. Click on Project 64. Scroll down, and click on it down here again and then your browser will prompt it to save it or whatnot. And I recommend you save it to your desktop so you can, then you can install it easily. But I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So once Project C4 opens, for the first time when you open it, it will prompt you to choose your language, which I've already done. So it just opened up for me. And as you can see, I have the Super Smash Brothers ROM on my desktop, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the settings so then it doesn't go to full screen. So when I load it around. Okay, so now I'm going to load it. Okay, so as you can see, this is Super Smash Bros., which is pretty freaking cool. And the bad thing about it is, is like, it'll be hard to play unless you have a gamepad. And as you can see, everything works just fine with my keyboard. And the first time you do this, you're going to need to go to Options and click Configure Controller Plugin. And then you'll need to click the buttons to configure all the stuff, like A won't be A first. You have to press this button and press A. And then so on for the rest of the controls. So you can make like the Nintendo 64 controller. And you can also change the device for which you're, you're connect which is connected to your computer and you can um, some other nice things are that if you have like a weaker graphics system in your thing like I do you can change the graphics plug into Java Direct 3 6 1.5.2 because 1.6 the 1.6 version of that thing has problems on my system because of the graphics card or should I say the graphics chip. And you can also change the sound plugin, or you can have just no sound. And also for the input, but I just recommend you keep it at the effect at the default <coughs> Jabo's direct input 7.1.6. I mean 7.1.6. And then under options, you have pause emulation when Windows not active. Unloading a ROM, go to full screen, which I had checked before, but unchecked for the purposes of recording this video. Remember to select the cheeks, and I'll show you the cheek thing in just a little while. And hide advanced settings, which you should leave checked unless you're like a real expert in these emulators. So now I'll show you cheats. If I can find it. It leaves under file. System. Oh, here we go. It's system. Then you do cheats or control C. And the cheats for this particular game are bonus stage character modifier, enable item switch menu, give Kirby a weird blow up, have all characters, and so on. And you can just enable all of them and you can have it remember all your cheats for next time. So, overall, I think it's pretty cool. And it works just fine on my system, even though it has. It has a lower end graphics system, but I modified that setting to make it work fine. But you'll get the best performance if you use a better graphics card. So, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dan Computer Man, and I'll see you later.